Miguel, did you hear anything? No. No, you didn't no, hear anything? Didn't, no. No? All right. Well, let's go check just to be safe. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna get into this new Gazelle T4 Overland Edition tent review. But first, we gotta get up into the mountains. Let's go. Hey Miguel, will you help me with, will you hold the people? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he'll hold the people with the shot. Okay, here. All right, you guys. So we're gonna talk a little bit about um, tents a little bit. So we're gonna look at what's new with the Gazelle T4 Overland Edition uh, once we get up to camp. But before we get into that, let's talk about what you might want in terms of your tent. So you guys might have seen, um, uh, you guys might have seen neat photos if you're just getting started in overlanding. You might have seen neat photos of trucks with tents on their roof and, and thought, oh man, I want to do that. Um, it's very inviting, right? But Here's the truth of the matter. Corey and I actually uh, prefer a ground tent because we can set up a ground tent and then go adventuring. We, we set a base camp. We've got our ground tent on the way. Come on, Miguel. Don't trip. Um, and then we can, we can just travel. The other thing is that a rooftop tent on trails like the one I'm on right now, I didn't like having all that weight up there. It's quite a bit of weight. And in addition, it's kind of cumbersome. You have to, uh, you have to open and close that tent and especially the clamshell types that open all the way 180 degrees before you go and buy a rooftop tent, try it. Go to like an overland bound meetup, get the app and see where there are events near you. And uh, try opening and closing a rooftop tent. The James Baroud, the Overland Pros, the tents that open like this, the wedge style, those are actually pretty convenient. So you might like those. But for Corey and I, we prefer to grab the tent off the top. We keep our storage, some low profile, lightweight aluminum boxes up there instead of all that weight of a rooftop tent that takes up that storage space. 
and we love rolling like that. We take the tent off, throw it on the ground, and with the gazelle, it's a 90 second setup if you're taking your time. So that's why we prefer the ground tent, and especially if you're moving every single day. Boom, boom, you guys, I'm puffing, but I'm at 9,000 feet. Um, <laughs> there's, there's less oxygen. Um, if you're moving every single day, opening and closing that rooftop tent every single time, uh, it gets to be a little bit cumbersome. Whereas the, you know, the gazelle tent, boom, fold it, throw it in the bag, put it on the roof, strap it down, and you're done. It's, it's, really, it's really pretty quick. So just try both and figure out what's best for you. Um, while we're here, pro tip, I have this timed. I'm close with my air pressure. I don't go measuring my air pressure. I can see what I got based on how the tires look, and that's good enough. I know a lot of folks, they like to get their PSI down plus or minus, you know, half a pound of pressure. Just get it close. Okay, I think I'm done for now, Miguel. Let's go hit the trail, all right? From the driver's seat, this looks like a wall. <laughs> and if you're just starting, this is one of those, what we call a gatekeeper, where you'd say, I ain't going over that, I'm going home. But with the right rig uh, and the right level of experience, a little practice, crawl right up over this thing. Now, y'all, the Land Cruiser 80 makes things look real easy. So just because it looks easy with the 80, don't think it's going to be easy with your rig necessarily, all right? All right, let's uh, get up on over this. Get it, Blue. Blue, you get it. You got it. Get that score. Okay, now we're about to pull that Gazelle 10 off the roof and then I'm going to show you guys uh, how fast it is to open but a little bit about how I kind of set up might seem like common sense I think because I eyeballed it I've got a pretty good level spot here now you look on the old uh, emblem forest service map that we have or Overland Bound 1, our app, you can see that this is a designated route. So we are within our designated spaces to go camping, if you can frickin' believe it. But the way I'm really going to tell if we all good is um, we're going to go ahead and open up our kitchen and see what kind of level we are. Miguel, you like that?
All right, you guys, now I'm gonna show you how quick it is to put up this tent. Um, should we do no cuts? Actually, I'm gonna cut a little bit to show you some close-up B-rolls, but I promise you I won't cheat. We'll just assemble the, the tent where it's going and you'll see how long it takes. It's uh, pretty darn fast, let's do it. You guys saw how how quick it is to put up now <laughs> don't mess with it if you if you think it's gonna be windy uh, you got to put those stakes in and that's gonna take you a little longer but uh, I've made the mistake of not staking the tent and having to chase it 300 yards down a cliff um, and then any chance of rain you want to put the rain fly on as well and if you think it's gonna be windy guy it down now I'll be honest with you guys most of the time, what I do is I just put it up just like this, and that's it. I'm in California, mild climate. We don't have too many torrential downpours this time of year. And uh, I just throw the dog in there to weight it down, and we're good. All right. Now, tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up, oh, dark 30. We're going to have a cup of coffee together, and then I'm going to really run you through this tent, and we'll look at the features, and I'll talk about those tech specs I know you guys want to know, what it's made of, what the dimensions are, and all of that. All right, now I think it's time for Miguel and I to make some supper and enjoy the sunset from the fire. Come on with us. All right, we're gonna get into some details, but first, coffee. All right, let's uh, let's talk about what it's like to actually use the the gazelle tent um 
I picked this angle because it's giving you angry eyes right now. <laughs> so I, I don't keep up on the latest trends um, with the, all the new gear that's coming out. Uh, it's, it's a little bit overwhelming. I like what I like. However, Corey, she's got her finger on the pulse, man. She, she knows what's out there. And uh, she introduced me to the Gazelle tent quite a, quite a few years ago. And uh, just right away, it, it, it was a pleasure to use. Good design doesn't get in your way. And um, that seems like it should be straightforward, but you guys know how new equipment is, right? Uh, you know, um, especially if you got to fumble with it, you're not gonna end up using it. And so this is super easy to use. You guys saw how quickly I was able to, to put the tent up and you know, just the little details and design, the, the rain flaps over the windows um, and the, the doors, the way they overlap to shed water, just really, really easy to use. Now, um, let's talk about stakes. And, and the rain fly. The rain fly goes on really easily. Um, it's got uh, uh, a couple of short rods, four short rods that go on each corner and then you latch it onto each wall. And I've had it in the rain, it works really, really well. And then the loops on the side of the walls are for anchoring down the walls in really strong winds. These uh, walls pop out and so in really strong wind, they'll also pop in. And that's why you have extra stakes and rope so that you can not only stake the corners, but the walls as well. And then you're really secure. Now, the one thing I'd like to see, you guys may have seen, I have Zargus cases on the, on the top of my rig that I can lock. And the reason is I like the rig to be ready to go at all times, at a moment's notice. And I would like to keep the Gazelle tent on my roof rack as well. However, UV light will eventually break down the bag. It'll fade and then it will eventually fail. So I'd really like to see an all weather bag from Gazelle. Now Gazelle provides a lot of bang for buck. So I understand that having a bag like that would increase the cost. So make it a separate accessory. I would certainly spend a little bit extra money to have a all-weather bag that I could just keep on my roof rack. Some of the unique features of the Overland Edition. First, you can get it in this, in this green color, and that's really important for me when I'm out here uh, enjoying nature. I like it if my tent kind of blends into the scenery and doesn't stand out. Uh, the, the orange, a lot of folks like that bright orange color. Me, I prefer the more subdued green tones that kind of blend in, and it really does make a difference in, in camp. Also, the Overland Edition, it has the heavy-duty stakes. It has a larger storage pocket on the storage bag to hold the larger stakes and extra rope if you need it. You've got the ground cover, which really protects the floor, and on the interior dimensions, um, the T4 has plenty of room for, you know, pretty much any size cot you might have. And again, plenty of room to stand up. All right, now you guys, um, I know that some of you out there want to know the nitty gritty details. So let's get into that. The height is 78 inches tall, plenty of room on the inside. The floor dimensions are 94 by 94 inches, and that equals 61 square feet of space. Now, hub to hub, because the walls bulge out a little bit, it is 101 inches by 101 inches. The collapsed size, uh, when you're storing it, is, is 8 by 8 by 67.5 inches, and the weight is 34 pounds. It comes with 12 stakes. It has two doors. They're D-shaped doors. The doors have tight weave mesh screens, and the tent has six tight weave mesh windows for plenty of ventilation and light. It has a gear loft on the roof that you can detach, and it's got a 
it's got six gear pockets. Now the gear pockets in this uh, most recent version of the tent are much larger than in the past. It's got a removable rain fly. And let's talk about the materials. 210 denier Oxford weave polyester shell material, which is waterproof up to 2000 mm HH rating and has a UV 50 plus rating. The floor material is 300 denier Oxford weave polyester floor material and it's waterproof up to 5000 mm HH rating. All right, you guys, I hope that the review of the Overland Edition Gazelle T4 tent was was useful. We got some cool things for you. First of all, a lot of the things you see we've we've put through the test and they're available uh, overlandbound.com uh, in our store and Overland Bound members get a discount, best price on the internet. So go and check it out. Also, locations like this uh, where Miguel and I are are available in um, Overland Bound 1. It's free iOS and Android. If you guys get into hardcore off-grid mapping and navigation or you want to download offline maps and different types of layers, then there is a fee for that. But you guys, don't let that stop you from downloading the app. There's a lot of value connecting with the community, going to local events, finding trails near you. That stuff is all free. No barriers to information. All right. Okay, you guys, until next time, outfit, explore, and man, I hope I see you out there on the trail. Come on. Stop. Okay, what'd you do wrong? Talk to me. I brought off the brake when it started to go forward. Yep. And I so, the gas. yep. So what you want to do is um, go ahead and turn your wheels a little driver because you're a little bit... Okay, now, now, you keep your foot on the brake. This is part of your two-foot driving too. Keep your foot, foot on the brake until you feel it moving backwards, then you can ease up slightly on the brake, okay? All right, go ahead. Skinny pedal, you're all right. Give her skinny pedal, skinny pedal. That means gas. Go ahead. There you go, there you go, there you go. Really good job, Miguel, that's the way you do it. Hey, I'm gonna show you guys something. Um, use a tree strap when you're winching. If you don't, you'll kill the tree. This tree out here, um, somebody winched on it. They just used their, their winch, winch line, their winch cable, and now this tree's dead. Uh, so let me show you what it does when you don't use a tree strap. All right, Miguel, here's your off-road driving test. Don't knock over my can. You knock over my can, you're gonna get soda all over my expensive radio. There you go, more. There you go. Good job. Good job. Yep. Okay, now driver. <laughs>